Let me introduce to you now a man who uh, I've grown extremely fond of over the years and uh, I love a great deal. His achievements and his accomplishments are amazing. They have been reported worldwide and we will talk about those achievements with a guru, a genuine guru, really genuine, Sri Chinmoy. And Sri Chinmoy, of course, is an international figure. And uh, privilege that you're here again, as a matter of fact. Uh, you were with me, oh, I guess, about a year ago, but uh, now that you've been weightlifting, it's made a lot of attention in the newspapers, and uh, that's why I thought we could talk a little bit about the uh, the achievements, the physical achievements, which are considerable, and we'll see some video of it, because a little while ago, Guru, when I was showing some of the material to the people here, they said, oh, a couple of people said, I don't believe it, you can't lift 4,000 pounds or 500 pounds with one arm, but that's what you've been doing. I'm extremely happy to be here, and I'm extremely great to, grateful to you for encouraging me for encouraging me here. Now, I am now in the weightlifting world. As you know, I am a truth seeker and a God lover. I am not a bodybuilder and I am not a weightlifter. I do not have the physique of a bodybuilder. I do not have the physique of a weightlifter. But uh, my inner pilot wants me to be of inspiration in the physical world. Uh, we have to explain. I've learned what the word inner pilot or that expression inner pilot means. But for people who don't know, it's so important. It helped me a lot. But when we first met Ola many years ago, you explained to me all about the inner pilot. Could you once yes, again? Please. Inner pilot is my God. I pray and meditate and I listen to the dictates of my inner pilot, when you pray and meditate, we get inner guidance. So he who guides me is my pilot, inner pilot. All right, it's that inner voice, that inner, inner voice. sensor, inner guidance that we sometimes ignore, unfortunately. Exactly. I know from what you told me also in the past, and then we'll turn uh, specifically to the weightlifting, that the various colored robes, and you wear the most beautiful robes, different colors have different meanings, yes? Absolutely. And this, you're wearing, I think, the emblem of the United Nations, if I see correctly? Yes, this is the emblem of the United Nations. Ah. This morning I was at the United Nations. I prayed there for about 45 minutes. There were delegates, diplomats, and the staff. You do that regularly there? You Twice a week, every two, every Tuesday and Friday. Uh -huh. So this happens to be Friday. So I, this is the robe, same robe I used this morning at the I United see. Nations. Now, the last time we were together here, you were wearing red robes. What would be the purpose of the red in terms of what the color means as opposed to the, the yes. sky blue, the light this, blue? This sky blue, uh, <laughs> has a very special significance in my own life because each person has a few auras. So in my case, my predominant uh, um, color is sky blue. It is this sky blue signifies in the occult world infinity. Oh. This, uh, this, uh, this color signifies infinity in the occult realm. And this is my most favorite uh, color for this one. Uh, in the inner world, I embody this color more than any other color. Oh. All right, many people who watch me know that uh, I've done so many programs about the occult, about psychic phenomena over the years. For you, that's generally accepted. You don't have any quarrel with the spirit world or spirits or those things that we call psychic. <laughs> I, they are all my friends. I do not quarrel with them. I, they do not quarrel with me because my prayer Everything that I'm doing is for oneness, oneness, oneness. Here, when I pray and meditate, I invoke God's compassion so that I can be one with you all the time. I hear my message to the world at large is peace, the message of peace. So when I pray and meditate, I get inner strength. When I feel inner strength, I do not quarrel, I do not fight. But the, the, we quarrel and fight precisely because inwardly we feel we are weak. Nation declares war on another nation, yes. not because the nation is far superior, but the nation feels in the depth of its heart that it is weak. This elephant that, I mean, the other day I lifted up an elephant. You lifted it was an elephant. Elephant which is uh, three thousand, over three thousand pounds. It weighs we, more than a more car. Than, we, we are no match for the elephant, but the elephant had a solid strength. So when, but the elephant knew that we could do nothing. But we behaved well because the elephant was far superior to us in strength. So he who is really strong 
we will not fight. And how can we be really strong unless we pray and meditate? So when we pray and meditate, we develop inner strength. And this inner strength is nothing other than peace. And when you have peace of mind, we do not quarrel with others. There is no necessity on our part to quarrel, to fight. So, they, so people may misunderstand me why I have uh, entered into you know, the bodybuilding and weightlifting only because of this. That I pray and meditate, I am urging everybody to pray and meditate, then they will be able to bring to the fore, bring to the fore their own inner strength, and there will be no necess there will be no necessity. All right, so you're not really pushing for people to all lift uh, elephants or weight. I want everybody to be physically fit. Okay, uh, you know what we could do here, since you mentioned uh, lifting the the, uh, I think it's an eight-year-old elephant. And it weighs better than 3,000 pounds. We have a piece of videotape of it. And if we could see the videotape, people will have an idea that this is real and this is documented. And watch. Here you go. Now, this was uh, done, I guess, in this area somewhere. This was done in Jamaica. In Queens. Queen, Queens, last uh -huh. Sunday. Uh -huh. Watch cool. There's the elephant eye. And now there you are with uh, a private plane. It was done here in this business. Now that was done out here in Suffolk County. This was actually, I think, at Eastman Riches. And uh, the Newsday uh, story, of course, that I read about it uh, showed pictures as well. Now you're going to lift that off the ground. Huh? I'm looking for the, uh, the, the weight of the plane. I have it someplace. I made a note of it. I think that's what better than 3,600 pounds. This one, doesn't look, the next one, ah. the C plane. This is a regular plane. Uh huh. But this too, this weighed more than a, a ballpoint pen. I mean, this was heavy also. <laughs> ah. Yes, this is light as well. Ah. There we go. Wow. Now, what do you think? Did it hurt? I get it. I get so many questions. That, that doesn't hurt physically. What do you think of when you're doing that? Is it total concentration? On uh, total concentration. I do not think of anything. I do not think of anyone. Only I concentrate most powerfully uh, on my inner um, in, in, in other resource. All right, but Guru, if somebody was to say to you, well, all right, you've lifted, it's remarkable. You've lifted an elephant, a seaplane, a private plane, a boat, various weights. How does that further the cause of world peace, which is so elusive, we just can't get... Right. And, um, you have just seen me lifting up the plane, yes. and there will be seaplane and elephant and all that. And naturally, it inspires people, and they know it is on the strength of my prayer and meditation life that I was able to perform this. There is no other way. As you can see, I do not have a big muscle, and my physique is not that of a bodybuilder or weightlifter. I entirely depend on inner strength, and this inner strength comes from God's compassion, God's grace. And if I am strong physically, and, and spiritually, mm -hmm. and then I will have peace of mind because we quarrel and fight precisely because we feel inwardly we are weak. I, I know I am weaker than you, but I want to lord it over you. I want to show you that I am stronger than you. Perhaps you have the also same experience. You may think you are weaker than me, but you call with me to sh express, to show your superiority. Yes. So if you are really strong, if I am really strong, that is peace. Peace is oneness. Oneness is peace. So if I am strong, you are strong, then definitely we have established our oneness. And this oneness is nothing other than peace. How did you select weightlifting? I think it was in the spring of 1985, so it's not that long ago that you began this, and you're what now, 55, I think? I'm 55, yeah. <laughs> yes, a year and a half. You were running for a long uh, time, you were doing... I've been running for a long time, but weighing to my right knee injury, had, had injury, yeah. injury, I had to give up uh, running. Then last year, on the 26th of June, 
I embarked on this project with a 40 pound weight. Huh. 40. 40 pounds? 40 pounds. Now how much do you weigh if I may Now I am, today I was 159. 159 59. pounds. Okay. Yes, but I start with 40 pounds. Now I have, our philosophy is the philosophy of progress. Now, I recently have lifted up a 503. I started with 40 pounds, but now, only a few weeks ago, I lifted up 503 pounds. The one arm press, with in other one, words, the with weight one, with one arm. With one arm lifting up. So that's better than three times your body weight. Better than my body weight. Again, it is all <laughs> due to grace from above. I pray and I meditate. So this is my offering to the world at large, that if you pray and meditate, we shall, have, we shall acquire inner strength. And this inner strength is bound to give us peace, peace of mind. The world is, the, the world badly needs peace. Oh, we yeah. we fight. So if we have inner strength, we are not going to fight. Yeah, but might somebody also say, Look, if I weight lift, and I lift boats, planes, elephants, whatever, the, the, the pieces of metal, the bars, I'm going to get stronger physically. Now, if I'm stronger physically, then I'm stronger than you, and therefore, why do I have to be concerned with peace? You see, I can use that strength to be aggressive. Oh, that is, here's the thing. If you get the strength from your prayer life, you are not going to quarrel. Here is the thing, difference. If I get, you know, from my physical, by only by taking exercises, I can be aggressive. Boxers, boxers, wrestlers, and others, yes. they, they are, they are, um, they are destroying mm -hmm. one another. Mm -hmm. But here, if I get the strength from my prayer life and meditation life, I will not use it for strength, for destruction, like a knife. If I have a knife and I am a wise person, man, then I shall cut a fruit and share it with you. But if I am a fool, instead of um, offering you a piece of the fruit, I will try to stab you. So, but knife has the strength, but how we use it's that, how you use it. How you use it. Similarly, a person, an individual has strength, tremendous strength. You have also strength. You are using it for the right cause to help peace, to, to help um, peace here, to, to offer peace to the world at large. Whereas the other person is strong, but he's trying to destroy you and me. How you using the tool the wrong way? Wrong way. Okay. Let me take care of a break here, and then we're going to show some pictures. We have some uh, of the photographs and uh, some visuals of what you've done in terms of weightlifting. Sri Chinmoy, internationally known guru, and uh, we'll talk more about his uh, weightlifting, his cause for world peace through physical strength and meditation. Right back. All right, back we go on the Joel Markman Show. Makes me feel uplifted, genuinely, really. I, I don't uh, lie and I don't fake. I'm sincere, and uh, Guru Sri Chinmoy is a man I've followed now for a very long time. We met back, oh, I think it must have been in the mid-1970s. And uh, I, very sincere and completely genuine and fascinating. And his cause for world peace has been through music, it's been through writing, it's been through art, it's been through sports, and now in the past uh, less than two years, it's been through weightlifting. Uh, training his body to lift incredible amounts of weight, elephants, boats, planes, all kinds of things, and uh, the cause for world peace, to show what the mind can do. Can we look at some of the visuals now? And if we do that, you're going to see some of his achievements recently, some uh, actually done here on Long Island, uh, some in other parts of the country. He's been all over the world. And uh, you'll take a look and see some of the things. Here, Guru, we are looking at you lifting, I think, uh, the, about three times your body weight. This is the 450 pound. Almost. Yes? Where'd you do this? Where, where's this wonderful gym that you're in? It is in my house. This is your house? Yes. Oh. I've turned into... <laughs> really? You've turned it into a gymnasium? <laughs> how, how about many hours a day do you spend on that? I, three hours at least. Between three and three and a half hours. Every day? Every day. Morning? Afternoon. Morning, morning, afternoon, evening. Really? And, and your diet is very sparse. You don't eat uh, the way I do. You don't go to the <laughs> fast food places. Oh. We have a restaurant on Numbramu. And there, from there, they supply me with food. Ah, okay. I want you to see the next one now. You're going to see the. This, I think, is the uh, the cow, isn't it? This is the calf. Yeah, this, this is the calf. And most of them were over 200 pounds. Yeah. There were five individuals. That those numbers are the weight of the, the calf. 1,384 pounds of calf. That's a lot of a uh, lot of Big Macs. Hmm. And no pain from that. You had no injury from that. It doesn't affect the old leg injury? No, it does not affect, unfortunately. Unfortunately is right. And I think also we're going to see the, the boat, which, which is, I know Newsday. This was in Newsday. This is oh, no, this was not. This is the sailboat, yes? This, but this weighed how much? Over? What the thousand? This is 4,000, this one. 4,000 pounds? This one. The sailboat? This is the sailboat. Huh. 
Unbelievable. And when you document these, obviously, the reason is to show people that it really happened. Yes. So it's not just you saying it. Oh, no. There are witnesses and there are Yeah, there are many, many people who are there, many, many witnesses who are there. To prove to the world it is something authentic. Yes, of course. We want to inspire people. We would like to be of service to people. And we'd like this service to be genuine. Yes. I think this one, this is the one that I saw right. today, isn't it? Yeah. This is the seaplane that you did uh, here in uh, Suffolk at East Mauritius. Last Sunday. Yeah, very recently. And this was, look again, you see the numbers there, folks? You see 3632. That means that's the weight of the plane. That's not its license plate. Th 3,632 pounds of seaplane? Yeah, there were five passengers inside it. Oh, there were people inside? Including the pilot. Five. <laughs> and you have it on a, a pedestal so, or, yes. or a dolly that you move it up. On the platform. In the platform. Yeah, that's platform. the word I'm looking for. Elliptical. Yeah. And this, of course, is the uh, helicopter at 3,187 pounds. Ah. Not bad. I mean, not bad. I, I can't even get myself out of bed in the morning. <laughs> but are you, are you saying that, uh, that that's, that's a, a weight to lift? Quite seriously, are you saying that the average person, people like me and, and people watching, can do this? Certainly. If I can How? do what is wrong with the prayer, again, prayer. <laughs> well, I pray. No, I do. So I pray and I meditate. You pray and meditate. I that do. is why, you know, you have peace of mind. Your health is getting better. Yes. The last time when I came here, you were not doing physically. This time, I'm so happy. Yeah, I had a back injury the last time. I'm fine now. Sun, so this is all your from your prayer life. Prayer life always solves all our problems. Only you have to have implicit faith in our own prayers. That's true. But I'm, I'm going to come back to that. I think there's one more uh, visual. There we go. This again is at home? This is at home. Now this is where you bettered the one arm press of 450 yeah. pounds. And this, 503. Is 503. this is more than three. This is more than three times. You don't lift that much every day, do you? Every day. You do? Every day? Every day. Now I'm practicing 600. Are you up to 600? 604. I've been trying. I've failed 40 times. <laughs> you don't mind failing, though? No, no. 300, when I was practicing 300, I failed 212 times. 212 times. Because I needed, God is teaching me patience. Mm. 212 times I failed. Uh, and even then I continued, and on the 213th time I succeeded. Huh. So, the, well, right, let's come back to that point because it's so important. You said something before, got to repeat, about faith in our own capacities. Our own cap uh, capacities. In our prayers. Our possibilities. Well, our possibly prayers. in our prayers. Many people pray, but they do not have faith in their own prayers. Because doubt interferes. Perhaps God is not pleased with me. This morning I told a lie. This morning I quarreled with my friend. So that's why, how can, why should God listen to our prayers? This kind of thing happens. Well, but, all right, but, what, but Guru, forgive, excuse me, why should God listen to our prayers? Doesn't he have better things to do than to listen to me? Who created us? If, if God, since God created us, he will not take care of us. Well, if you have a cat or a, a, a dog or something, it, you, you have brought the dog. Now it is your bounden responsibility to, uh, to take care of the dog. So like that, God is the creator, so he, we are the creation, and we are, uh, we are helpless. If the creator does not take care of the, his creation, then how can he live on earth? How can he survive? I've got a break here, but I've got to ask you one question, and I don't want to forget. We are going through, and where you live, it's a terrible problem in Queens, and it's a problem everywhere in this country. Young people who are increasingly using incredible amounts of drugs. It's an epidemic in this country, cocaine and crack, you know about that. Mm -hmm. What has gone wrong that so many people are turning to that path, which is obviously a destructive one, rather than listening and then following uh, your advice, which is obviously the best advice? <laughs> people, people want something that can be achieved in the twinkling of an eye. Uh -huh. They do not believe in discipline. No discipline, no, no patience. No patience. If you, have discipl if you have a disciplined life and if you have patience, then you are bound to get all good things from our own lives. Okay, well said. Guru Sri Chinmoy, we're going to conclude. We're coming back with a final word. Please stay with us back in just one minute. Guru Sri Chinmoy, I'm sorry that the time has gone so quickly. The half hour just goes boop. And then I'm just getting to some of the, the many things I want to talk about. But I got to ask you, as we conclude, we only have a couple of moments, Guru. Where does this go? Do you have an ultimate goal with all of this? I do not have any set goal, but my goal is self-transcendence. I always try to transcend myself. I do not compete with the rest of the world. I compete with myself all the time. I try to become a better human being. 
This is my ultimate goal. Every day I pray to become a better human being so that I can be of better service to mankind. Isn't it true though that for many of us, most of us, I guess all of us at one time or another, we are so much more concerned with things around us than those things that are in us, that maybe that's where some of the confusion is? Unfortunately, we look around most of the time instead of looking deep within. Yes. If you can, look, if you can dive deep within, then we will get the answers. Yeah. And the world around us is full of temptations. Yes. But the world within us is full of illumination. So illumination. If, you illuminate, if you can bring to the fore our inner illumination, then the outer world of temptation will be transformed into the world of illumination. Are you still doing the many paintings? You've done hundreds of paintings, hundreds of poems, and many hundreds of musical compositions? I'm doing everything. You, you do, do all of that? I do everything. This morning also I composed quite a few songs. I do not give, only we increase our capacities. It is not like that if I start doing something new, I'll give up the old things, no. My friends, my poetry, my music, my art, these are my friends. When, and then now weightlifting, like a new friend. I will not give up my old friends in order to have a new friend. No, only I shall have more friends. Previously I had poetry and music, art and all these are my friends. Now I have I got a new friend and this is uh, weightlifting. Weightlifting. And, and you're not here to say that you're better or stronger no. than you're here to, to encourage us to do the yes. best we can. Yes, I am not competing w w with anybody. Only I have come here to offer my inspiration my, and my aspiration. And, and inspiring you it's are. We're out of time. Thank you so much. It's terrific to see you again. I, I didn't even get to ask you what the white flower <laughs> means, but, but for peace, yes? But absolutely. Yes. Purity. purity. The flower means purity, and white is divinity. So when you have purity and divinity, then we have all the time peace within us. And we are trying to be as pure. As pure as a flower. The flower. Yes, Guru Sri Chinmoy, thank you very much. Of course, native of India and of course living now in New York and a frequently on Long Island, international figure with us in this half hour.